In this video, we're doing another example of multiplication of polynomials. But in this particular example, we've been given multivariable polynomials, meaning we have two or more variables inside of our polynomial. So in this case, we have x and y. But the fact that we have multiple variables doesn't change our process for multiplying the polynomials together at all. In this case, we have the binomials 2x plus y and x minus 2y. We're multiplying those together. And then from that polynomial result, we're subtracting the multiplication of these two binomials, or the product of these binomials, x plus 2y and 2x minus y. So first, let's multiply out. We're going to start with 2x here, the first term in our first binomial, and multiply it by every term in the second binomial. Remember, the goal here is just to multiply every term in one polynomial by every term in the other polynomial. So 2x times x is going to give us 2x squared. 2x times a negative 2y will give us a negative 4xy. Then we're going to look at this second term here, the positive y, and we're going to say positive y times a positive x gives us a positive x, y. We want to always list our variables in alphabetical order. Then we're going to say positive y times a negative 2y is going to give us a negative 2y squared. Remember, y times y will be y squared. Now, because we've multiplied every term in the first polynomial by every term in the second polynomial, that takes care of this first group here. Then we want to keep our subtraction, the subtraction here, and now multiply every term in this polynomial by every term in this polynomial. However, it's going to be really important here that we go ahead and put in big parentheses because this subtraction sign is going to need to apply to the result of the multiplication of these polynomials. So now we're going to take x and we're going to multiply it by 2x minus y. So x times 2x gives us a 2x squared. x times a negative y gives us a negative xy. Then we're going to take positive 2y and multiply it by 2x minus y. So positive 2y times a positive 2x will be a positive 4xy. And then positive 2y times a negative y will be a negative 2y squared. And then we just go ahead and close out our parentheses. Notice how this subtraction sign in the middle is going to apply to every term in this second polynomial that we found. Now it's just going to be a matter of simplifying. We're going to distribute this negative sign. We're also going to collect like terms. So here we're going to say 2x squared minus 4xy plus xy minus 2y squared. Keep that the same. Let's distribute our negative sign. So a negative, this is basically a negative 1 here. Negative 1 times 2x squared is a negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times a negative xy, those negative signs will cancel and become a positive, and we'll get positive xy. In other words, if you notice, this negative sign is just going to change the sign on every term inside these parentheses here. So this positive 2x squared became a negative 2x squared. The negative xy became a positive xy. Our positive 4xy is going to become a negative 4xy, and our negative 2y squared is going to become a positive 2y squared. Now that everything's outside of the parentheses, we can look for like terms. The first thing we want to notice here is that we have a 2x squared and a negative 2x squared. When we add those together, we're going to get those terms to cancel. We also have a negative 2y squared here and a positive 2y squared here. When we add those together, we'll get 0, and they will cancel. So we've eliminated some terms. Now we look at what's left. We have a negative 4xy and a positive 1xy. So negative 4 of them plus positive 1 of them is going to leave us with negative 3, right? Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So this is negative 3xy. Then we have plus 1xy again. That gives us a negative 2xy. Then we have a negative 4xy. So negative 2 plus a negative 4 or negative 2 minus 4 gets us to negative 6xy. Negative 6xy. In other words, we were able to combine all of these terms into one because all four of these terms are like terms. They all have this xy here, xy, xy xy and xy. So they're like terms, and the only thing that's different is the coefficient on each one of them. The coefficient here was negative 4, the coefficient here was positive 1, positive 1, and negative 4. So then we just end up adding all those coefficients together, negative 4 plus 1 plus 1 minus 4, and we end up with a negative 6, of course keeping the xy, so then our final answer is negative 6xy.